Recently, a lot of Americans have asked me all about the EU referendum. Now, because European politics is substantially less entertaining than American politics, i.e. there's no reality TV component, I figured there was really only one way to explain the EU referendum to people in other countries. Not through graphs or pie charts, not through political sound bites or debate, but through the timeless metaphor of Star Wars because… because I've stopped giving a f a long time ago, in a continent far, far away, nations were embroiled in the deadliest conflict in human history. World War II, a war that took the lives of more than 61 million people, broke out in 1941. I mean 1939, they're trying to Americanize me, mama. I'll stop that now. The war was fought, for the sake of simplicity, between the Allies, who we will refer to as the Rebellion, and the Axis Powers, or the Galactic Empire. Now, to cut a long story short, one member of the Axis Powers, Germany, aka Darth Vader, did a lot of terrible stuff that is way too dark for this stupid little video, but among other things he held captive the city of Paris following the armistice of June 22nd, 1940. Paris, if you hadn't guessed, is Princess Leia. Princess Leia is an anagram of Silence Paris. I specialise in anagrams, also appropriate because you can get the British spelling of specialise out of Princess Leia, but that's another story. Meanwhile, there was one brave and heroic nation practically standing alone in the fight against Nazi Germany, Vader and that country was the United Kingdom, a country that would defy overwhelming odds at the Battle of Britain, a country that would never surrender, and a country that would very firmly put the letters UK into Luke. Luke Skywalker having seen allies such as Luxembourg, Biggs, the Netherlands, Red 12, and Belgium, Red Leader, get picked off by Germany, was, despite a gargantuan effort, himself on the verge of defeat. And then, just as it seemed Germany was ready to send Luke the way of London during the Blitz, aka Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru, too soon? Who shows up? Han Bloody Solo swooping in at the last minute to take out Germany, Vader, and steal all of the glory for himself because he's the United States of America. To be fair though, Han Solo and or America played a key role in other aspects of World War II. For instance, and I forgot to mention this earlier, Han and or America did help to eventually liberate Paris, Princess Leia, from the Death Star and may or may not have fathered her child. That last part has no historic precedent. Anyway, the rebel and or allied victory at the Battle of Berlin and or Yavin signified the end of the conflict and the good guys were each given a medal, except for Chewie, who was Canada. Okay, so why am I telling you all of this? What's World War II got to do with the EU referendum? Well, the EU, as it is now known, was drawn up with the precise intention of preventing war from breaking out across Europe ever again. The idea was that if a community of nations undertook trade with one another, this would incentivize those nations to coexist in unbridled peace. Think of it as that deal that Lando made to keep the Empire out of Cloud City. Actually, no, don't do that. That's, that's an awful, awful example. The point is, Luke, UK, became one of those EU member states in 1973, and despite earlier problems, he now found himself at peace with a much reformed Germany, by now the benevolent force goes of Anakin Skywalker. Fast forward to 2016, at a time of great division in the UK, a, a referendum is called by the sitting government asking the following question. Should Luke Skywalker remain in the EU? I'm paraphrasing a little. But on one side of the debate, we have a now aging and wary Luke. He believes that we would be better off living on an isolated green island away from the likes of Leia, Paris, and the Resistance, EU. On the other side of the debate, we have a younger Star Wars character, one who believes we are better off working alongside the Resistance, one who would rather like it if Luke would cease with all this leave nonsense and ruddy well come home at once. This character is Rey. Rey is for remain, Luke is for leave. Both the L and the R camps put forward some good arguments stating their case. Luke thinks it's right to leave because he wants his lightsaber back, damn it, and Ray's all like, no, no, you fool, isolating ourselves is what the First Order, UKIP, wants us to do. Here, you can have your lightsaber back, use it to push for fundamental reform of the EU and a stronger, more influential European role for the UK. No says Luke, and the two are left engaged in a tense emotional standoff until episode 8 comes out, or until the EU referendum. So the question is, which side are you on? Are you going to vote for Luke, even if leaving means cutting yourself off from the rest of the galaxy and or continent? Even if it means breaking ties with those nations we fought so hard to unite with after World War II? Even if it means facing an uncertain future? Or are you going to vote for Rey, the future of the galaxy slash continent, who believes we are stronger together regardless of race, colour or creed, who believes in the power of a mystical energy known as the workforce, who is actually, you know, English. Be like Rey, 
Vote to remain. Just to clarify, I wasn't I wasn't insinuating that Luke is a racist. <laughs>